Hey everybody, what is going on? Welcome to the 21st Teak Hinter Mega Series tutorial. Our Teak Hinter series can now legally drink in the United States. That's pretty impressive. So, um, what we're going to do in this one is we're going to add uh, support for the other exchanges. So, the first thing that we're going to go ahead and do is... Um, if you look down in our animation tutor or animation function rather, uh, you'll see here that we have uh, colors that we plot with. That's kind of a mistake because we're we're hard coding these colors. In reality, we have a light color and a dark color that we're using. Um, but as we add more exchanges and add more time frames and what we're going to graph, if the time comes down the road where we decide, hmm, let's change our colors. We're going to have a really hard time because we're going to have to go through and, and change all of these colors. Now, it's conceivable that you could do control H and you could hunt for this specific, you know, 00A or whatever. That's not the best way to do it. Um, so now I'm going to show you guys uh, a, a way that we can fix that. Uh, so first, let's go ahead and let's just uh, we'll copy this one. And the other one is 183A54. So come up to the very, very top here. And uh, basically, we'll just put it right here. Uh, we're going to have dark color equals something. And that's our 183. And then we have light color equals something, which is 00A3E0. Uh, and then our dark color was 183A54. So now we have dark color, light color, dark color is the 183. So animate, come down here, 183 is the dark color. Boom, paste, and then we paste light color in here. So now instead we have uh, these variables that we're using. Bring this up, agree, and what has happened? Uh huh, uh huh. Up to the top here. Do we not put? It? Yeah, we didn't put a pound sign there. Let's go ahead and fix that one more time here. And I'm not sure. I think volume we've we've uh, left hard coded. So volume needs to be dark color. Find anime. We fill. Where's my mouse? There it is. Filled these in. Now let's go ahead and call that dark color. Fancy that. Okay, so now what we're going to do is add in the actual exchange support. So this block of code is very specific uh, to BTCE. Uh, let's get rid of here. And now try. And what try, uh, the first question we're going to go ahead and ask is if the exchange equals BTC dash E. So if that's the exchange we're using, well then hot diggity, this is the code we use. So we take all of this code and tab over once and everybody is a winner. Now we have uh, the question of bitstamp. So let's go ahead and uh, we're going to copy basically all of this for the most part. So copy and then come down here, enter, enter, one over. If exchange equals bit stamp colon paste. Scroll up and bit stamp, uh, the data link for bit stamp is going to be HTTPS colon colon www.bitstamp.net slash API slash transactions slash. Uh, we open up the data link no different. We, let's see, PD, um, trying to see what is any different here. UTF-8, we are going to load the data. Um, I don't think pan or uh, Bitfinex or Bitstamp rather does the nonsense about uh... yes. So they just straight up give you the data. 
Okay, they don't tell you BTC USD. All right. So this it just starts right away with dates and all of that. So with Bitstamp, we don't need this, right? Redefinition of data equaling data BTC USD. So we can just delete that for now. And then we go ahead and convert it to a data frame and no problem. And the only other question is the buys and sells. And actually, you know what? Um, I don't think I don't think that um, Bitstamp doesn't differentiate between buys and sells. So actually, we would change um, the data here. We're going to go ahead and say volume can stay as uh, volume equals data amount. Uh, however, we're going to go ahead and dot apply. Whoops. Float and then dot whoops dot to list. Um, a dot clear is fine. Uh, we don't have buys and sells, so we'll just do this. And I'm going to do Alt three here to comment all of that out. And when we actually plot. Um, We'll do, so we've got volume, and then we plot date. We'll just get rid of one of these. So here, plot date. Um, we're going to do, do we get date stamps? No. So plt.plot dates. We do all dates, and then in here, we just plot uh, data price fill between again all dates uh, that's fine and zero volume face color that should stay the same uh, instead of BTCE this is a bit I can't even remember if we're on bit stamp or bit finish so bit stamp and they give us uh, string data price from most recent so that would be a zero we set the title and let's go ahead and save and run that and see if, if that works out for us Great. so that's BTCE now we go here and change that to bitstamp Okay, uh, failed because of timestamp. So let's close this, come back here. Okay, right, so data, let's see. Theirs is date, so let's try that one more time. Agree, exchange, bitstamp. Same kind. Let's close out of this. Let's do. Okay, so we've got data, date stamp equals um, as type. Then we're going to do date stamps equals data, date stamp, and then dot to list like that. Uh, we're not going to use all dates anymore. We'll use date stamps. Copy. Come down here, and we're going to change that now to date stamps, date stamps. Let's try that again. And agree, exchange, bit stamp. Uh, still angry with me. Uh, let's see. So the problem was it's date information that we're pulling uh, date stamps, date stamps so data, date stamps, NPRA 
Oh, okay. So uh, we're gonna convert this. It's probably coming. It's coming through as a string, I guess. Um, so we'll dot. <laughs> we'll do a, uh, apply int and. Actually, uh, cut that, and then we do a dot apply in there, and then as type. So let's try that one more time. There we go. Okay, so now we've got the bit stamp stuff. Uh, a lot, a little bit more conversions than I wanted to do. Uh, but Bitstamp doesn't differentiate between uh, the buys and the sells, so that's kind of uh, problematic. And then their, you know, their API feeds data a lot uh, in a different way than uh, than BTCE does. So that's what's kind of annoying when you don't have normalized data. They're all a little bit different, uh, so you've got to handle their data um, specifically how they give it to you. So anyway, uh, so now. Uh, we've got price and volume there. We they don't differentiate between buys and sells, so we can't really do that. Uh, but we do have volume and we do have the last price. Uh, we just don't know if it was buy or sell. So um, so now that we've got that. Let me see the other thing. Let me go dot ICO real quick. Right. Okay. So if you didn't notice uh, when we went to go run that, uh, our client logo has has shifted again or shift it off of what it used to be. Let me go ahead and take this. We're going to cut. Let's go to the very, 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 very bottom here, right after self.showframe, and let's try to stuff it down there at the very bottom. There we go. OK, so it was being overridden. Uh, that was a problem. So anyways, now we've got our logo back, and uh, we're showing Bitstamp. And now we need to add uh, the other exchanges as well. So the other exchanges have their own little quirks as well so uh, we'll do that and I think I'll save that for the next video or hopefully we'll be able, we'll add the other the next two exchanges in the next video so uh, stay tuned for that uh, if you guys have any questions or comments feel free to leave them below uh, let me go ahead and get us back to the animation function um, and scroll down a little bit uh, the code will eventually find its way onto Python programming.net just takes me a while sometimes to put up the code uh, but here's the first block of code before the clear if you needed that if something's going wrong That's the first block and then I can scroll us down a little bit uh, Down and this is the second block of code. So if you need anything pause it look at it figure out what you need uh, This is in 1080p. So you Should be able to read that just fine Okay, so anyway next video we'll add the probably hopefully the next two exchanges uh, And then we'll actually get into plotting candlesticks all that kind of stuff so out of this kind of nitty-gritty nonsense. So anyways, stay tuned for that. Questions, comments below. As always, thanks for watching.